And a sailor lost at sea for 66 days is back on land tonight. A ship spotted Lewis Jordan's body yesterday about 200 miles off Cape Hatteras. WNCN's Emma Wright joins us with more on the amazing rescue. Emma. Lewis Jordan says he stayed alive by eating raw fish and drinking rainwater. He says he had just about given up hope when his prayers for rescue were answered. An incredible rescue after being lost at sea. After 66 days adrift in the Atlantic, Lewis Jordan is back on dry land, walking himself from a Coast Guard chopper into a Virginia hospital. Lewis went sailing in late January and never returned. He says his 35-foot sailboat had drifted into the ocean. The mast and rudder broke and the boat capsized. And I was flying through the air, somersaulting, and everything was upside down and backwards. Lewis was unable to make repairs, so he sat day after day waiting for rescue. He says the two months lost felt. It seemed like a lot longer. Lewis says he clung to hope and strict rations of food and water to stay alive. When I was running out of water, drinking a pint a day for a very long time, rationing that water, almost out, almost out. Finally, God answered my prayer. Right before I ran out of water. Thursday morning, the boat, appropriately named Angel, was spotted 200 miles off the coast of Cape Hatteras by a massive German container ship. They saw me on the front of my boat, standing up there, waving my arms. And they turned that huge skyscraper around. It was an emotional reunion for Lewis and his family, who thought they might never see him again. Yeah, I love this man. I love him with all my heart. Lewis Jordan was treated for a broken shoulder and for dehydration, but is otherwise just fine. Sharon.